Hello everyone. Wanted to put a little video out there to show my off-grid electrical system. Right here in front of me is my solar setup. Each panel is 100 watts. As you can see I have 20 of them. 2,000 potential watts. And next to it, up that pole, is my wind turbine which today we're getting some wind so it is spinning when we get inside the power shed I'll show you a little bit uh, what kind of watts it puts out you can see the guide wires off to each side to help stabilize it so I started out off the grid with those five panels on top just to get me started 500 watts that's what I started out with and then I put another five and I kept that for quite a while and just before winter a uh, an acquaintance of mine gave me 12 50 watt panels which I ended up putting on that side facing uh, southwest I no longer use those panels they're not on that roof anymore and then this summer I went from those 50 watt panels to 10 more 100 watt panels let me bring you around the other side you can see my snow broom for when I clean off the panels here you can see a little bit of the back side of the panels The brand I use is Mighty Max. I heard a lot of good reviews on these guys, so that's why I went with them. Let me swing this camera around and I'll show you a little bit of my backup power. I have an old, uh, I believe this one is a Briggs & Stratton 25 horse twin cylinder. And uh, this thing off of the V pulley spins that alternator. It's a heavy duty alternator from like off uh, some of the old school truck semis. Uh, it's called a 22SI by Delco. Six gallon fuel tank. I believe that alternator is 100 amps. I'll give you a little more in depth of that one maybe in another video. Maybe I'll fire it up in the video too. So let's go around and get you inside. So in here is where I house all my batteries, charge controllers, power inverters, all the goodies. So the one you can see over here is the wind turbine charge controller. These two here are my solar charge controllers. And the two boxes over there are the power inverters. I have 18 deep cycle batteries each one is 105 amp hours. I have them connected in parallel. So I keep everything at 12 volts. I went with the Midnight Classics. Because they handle up to 250 volts DC. The sun was out earlier today. I wish I could have showed you the power coming in. But right now it is completely cloudy. So for those who are thinking about going off grid, this is what you got to prepare for. It's day, but it's cloudy. Out of a potential thousand watts, I'm bringing in 11. 11 watts. Looks like I'm getting about 10 more watts out of this set. This is my wind turbine charge controller. 
when these green lights are lit up, it indicates that the turbine is spinning up there. Shows you the voltage. I have a little meter on the side. Shows me the current uh, voltage of the battery bank. How many amps and watts that the turbine is putting out. Bottom right corner is the wattage. Top left corner is the amperage. It's not too terribly windy right now, but I'm still putting in watts. Puts out a little hum when it's spinning up there. It's always nice to hear that thing. That means I'm making power. So these are my two power inverters. This was what powers my entire house. This one is in use. It is my primary pure sine wave, 3,500 watts of power. The reason I have them both connected is because if I have a failure with this one, all it's going to take to move to the back one is go from these plugins and plug them in down here and turn it on. And boom, I have power again. I have a couple uh, backup to the backup power inverters. Uh, I have them in use in the woodshed and up in my storage shed. So I could always bring those down if both of those fail. This one here is going to be another charge controller for my second wind turbine. Probably another video that I'm going to do is showing a build on that. Tell you one thing, each one of those is about 70 pounds and you got to carry 18 of them down the hill to this. It was not fun. <laughs> It's not going to be a very long video. I'll do a lot more in-depth one. A very in-depth one on my solar and wind turbine. On another video. Today is just a video for those who wanted to see the setup. And kind of want to see a little look-see into what I do around here for my electricity. So having 2,000 watts during the summer is super nice because the batteries are usually done charging by noon. And during the winter time, of course it being cold out, batteries don't charge as well. So it takes pretty much all day to charge them up. Um, being that it's cloudier during the winter time, I'm finding myself having to run that... Uh, uh, alternator off that um, homemade generator quite often unfortunately there ain't enough solar panels that you can put up to uh, having to deal with all these cloudy days that's just the reality of it I suppose if you were to get some really good dollars and really dump a lot of it into one of those industrial sized wind turbines where it spins almost daily that would be the way to go without having to burn any gas so anyways I will make a lot more in-depth video on my entire off-grid electrical system here I'll give a lot more details and technical specs that a lot of you just are not going to want to hear right now. So, there's my power running up to the house from telephone to telephone pole. And it goes in a breaker box up there. Some of you might be wondering why do I have my batteries way down here. 
Well, one of the reasons is, is because there's a pond right there, so it provided a natural clearing for sun to hit the solar panels. Of course, except for that giant oak. I'd take him down, but he is ginormous, and it's beautiful in the summer, so I'm just going to leave it. Though the main reasons is, let's say the worst case scenario happens. The house burns down. Well, I'm about, oh, 50 yards from the house. So if the house burns down, my entire electrical system will be fine. If the electrical system burns down, gets struck by lightning, who knows what, then the house will be fine. So I like to keep those separate. Eventually when I get a garage built, then I'll have to move all these solar panels, batteries, charge controllers. I'll put them in the garage so I can have a, a lot more climate controlled of a place to put these. Right now they're, everything is just sitting out in the cold. So it is what it is for now, I guess. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed this little overview. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comment section. If you uh, still like this sort of stuff, let me know. Go ahead and smash that like button. Please subscribe. Let's get this channel going. All right, everyone. We're out of here. Thank you much. Have a good one.